Planks are one of the most popular bodyweight exercises. Why? Because they can be done at any level, they train a lot of muscles at the same time and they require no equipment. As with any other exercise, you should aim for proper form to get the most out of it. So here is a quick checklist. Tuck your chin, push your shoulder blades forward, tilt your pelvis backwards and extend your legs. As you can see, we now got a solid plank. But we are still not satisfied, because there is one important factor that makes this exercise way more efficient. It's about the shoulder blade movement and the spine. In the last example we've shown you a neutral back position and most people will tell you that this one is the best position for this exercise. But let me tell you why they are wrong. To get the most out of this exercise, you should aim for a rounded position of your upper back. This is known as the hollow body position and offers many benefits over the neutral one. This position is not only about the forearm plank in general. We recommend to do it as well in other positions like the push-up support hold, mountain climbers, frog stand, planche and other similar exercises. The main reason why we aim for this position is the better activation of the serratus anterior. The serratus plays an important role when it comes to shoulder strength and health and should not be neglected. The benefits of training the serratus anterior are almost endless. It's one of the most important muscles of the shoulder complex. It helps moving the arms multidimensionally and it's essential for a strong bench press, push-ups and basically every overhead exercise known to man. To activate your serratus you have to push your shoulder blades forward as much as possible. This forward movement will also result in a flexion of your spine and this will lead to a better activation of your abdominal muscles as well. The contraction of your abs brings the muscle origin and insertion closer together, just like in every other muscle. So if you flex your spine and tilt your pelvis backwards, you will contract your abs in an optimal way. Imagine it like a static crunch but with a lot more benefits than just lying on the ground. Maybe some people will say it's better to keep your spine in a neutral position, but this is not true. Our spine is designed to move and only with movement you are able to keep your spine mobile and contract all muscles around it in an optimal way. Even our natural spine position while we are standing has the natural curves and is not completely straight. So don't be confused when it comes to spine movement in general. As you might know, we are still no fans of sit-ups and crunches because of many downsides like the repetitive flexion of the spine while lying on your back. If you want to know more about this topic, please check our 3 exercises better than sit-ups video. If you now want to know how you can implement the plank and other exercises into a well-structured program, you can check our workout programs for different levels. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an advanced athlete. Just visit our website and get your program. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.